Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Quick Take. Today we are looking at another cannabis company. So what I will be doing um, is just going through uh, because cannabis is such a hot property right now, especially on the market. I'm just going to do a playlist on these cannabis companies just to get my head around all of the companies that's uh, on the stock exchange. So we are looking at Ecofiber. So according to this particular profile, this an Australian company that it operates in the nutraceutical and food and fiber segment of the cannabis um, in uh, sector. So nutraceuticals are basically products that has um, other health benefits beside its uh, nutritional values. Uh, so it does hemp products also. So hemp is using rope. I believe uh, so that's as much as I know about the cannabis industry uh, beside that uh, people use it um, for migraines and stuff um, and other medical conditions and um, palliative care pain killing pain as a painkiller in palliative care anyways um, that's why I think it's uh, so important for me to do a playlist on this you know the cannabis sector so uh, for me to gain more understanding of these uh, companies especially now that it, it's kind of like firing up but I think like it's just starting to wind up again so I'm just preparing for that uh, massive um, well not massive but, but potential potential um, run up in 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 interest all right so like looking at the financial the PE ratio it's actually very surprising that it actually has the PE ratio what that means is that it's actually making money right uh, like um I've th i think i've seen a few of them really briefly is that not a lot of them is actually making money and they actually are losing money so it's a good sign but um the p ratio is definitely higher than the range that i will look in but consider this it's more of a speculative company so looking at some of these ratios might not be as accurate as you want it to be you want it to be a little bit more established but we're just uh, having a look at have a round well-rounded picture of this particular company uh, it doesn't pay dividend and I don't expect it to. I would be really worried if actually it's paid dividend. So right here, dividend yield is not, nothing. Uh, quick ratio, so I got enough cash to last around three years or so. Moving on to the cash flow, uh, we can see that operating activity is actually generating more cash than the previous year. That's a good sign. Uh, it also increasing its investing activity, so maybe in properties, plants, farms, and all of that. So again, that's um, that's good to see. Uh, financing activities borrowed some money, nine point four million. Not the biggest thing I've ever seen, but it, it's fine. Uh, you know, cheap money around and borrow up, um, and uh, but don't over borrow. <coughs> But the net change in cash is negative, but but you're we're looking at uh, the investing activities actually spending a lot on capital expenditure. Uh, the previous year it was really high because it uh, it, it was an issuance of stock, and uh, we can look at the chart later to see when it's actually IPO'd. All right, now looking at the balance sheet, um, current asset gone up. Now I'm interested in the inventory. Inventory's gone up. Um, so let me see. I did the calculation here just before, uh, divided by 8.98. So that's uh, 1.3 uh, times the previous um, inventory level. And so we'll we'll pair that up with a, the the. Uh, uh, the, the the income statement and see how much the income statement has grown if you guys can hear that that's a firecracker it's a chinese uh new year's eve today uh lunar new year's eve <clears throat> um current liabilities um it's got doubled but you know uh, that's fine um it's still got enough cash because we look at the quick ratio uh it still has enough cash to last around three and something year so that's that's a good thing all right, moving on to the income statement. So we'll bring the calculator back here and just have a look at the total revenue divided by uh, 35.6. So, whoa, was that correct? 50.72 divided by 35.6. So that's our 1.4. So uh, the revenue is actually keeping up with the inventory growth, which is a good thing. It means it, it's buying just enough or producing just enough for it to turn over and turn that into cash. And, I already talked about how um, keeping inventory low or at least um, keeping the rate of turnover of inventory high because you don't want that stock sitting around, especially these kind of products or, uh, you know, uh, 
part of it would be uh, perishable goods and and you don't want just to harvest it produce it and just to throw it away um, net income's gone up and it's doubled uh, so that's really really good um, that's probably why that's um, why it has that that is why it has a positive P ratio ratio so it's making money and and uh, you know it's probably the second year that it made money and and that's a good thing but um, I'll probably wait a little bit um, so I, I want a longer track record to see if it's sustainable so it's not only important that it makes money but it can continue to make money all right jumping right over to the chart here what we have here so I drew it up uh, so we can see the net income uh, from negative to positive good sign um, and what I have here is that uh, the stock being kind of like going up and going back down and and it's hitting this resistance here but I believe it's gonna break through um, just uh, so it seems like um, people are bearish about this particular stock um, I mean it's one again it's speculative too it hasn't got a good enough track record to kind of like uh, to kind of believe in it if you're really uh, investing in this you're kind of playing at the long um, you know, long run and, and and it's a little bit again it's speculative so there's a chance that there's a really high risk so you really want to one either buy it as low as possible and it's very hard to actually know where the bottom is it's, it's um, catch it it's like um, catching a falling dagger we don't know you think this is low but it could go to a 0 0.1 cent you know I've seen stock at 0 0.1 cent um, and I, I, you know that you you lose effectively ninety nine percent of your money. So if you want to go into here, I would say put minimum something that you can definitely afford to lose. At the moment, I probably wait. I just want to see a longer track record um, and maybe a spike in volume. There's definitely a spike in volume, but this is all negative direction going down. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't jump in right now. Um, and it's also so it's tried to test. So what it can do is that it so it seems like it try to test this 38 percent uh, level and it came back down and it could try to test it again but what i reckon because it already broke through the 23.6 it's going to keep going down to this particular um resistance here uh, so it's going to break through go down and it's probably going to go down further if it broke down further i think it's going to head down towards even low i reckon it's going to go down to uh, the one dollar mark but we won't know until it gets there uh, and then there it um what i reckon it will happen it's going to flat line a little bit and i don't think the uh, the news with the cannabis thing is going to do much for this particular company just because it's already in a space that is uh, legalized the food nutraceutical hand products so um and then and, and depending on you know, know like what portion of the can marijuana plant it put in because um i believe some part of it sorry uh and and the concentrations and and then the the, the the cbd or i think there's a thc part of it i'm not sure particularly but uh, i just don't feel like the news is going to affect this particular company much so what i'm expecting is that it's going to flat uh, go down flat line for a while before it comes back up uh, so that's what i'm uh, kind of seeing here uh, i would only go in if there's um it can sustain uh you know it's uh, profit making so the next year and the next year so i'll probably wait two more cycles before jumping into this particular company because if there is real prospect in this particular company i uh, waiting two more years to buy is a is, is something that i can see that um uh, you know uh, okay to to kind of wait out uh but yeah that's pretty much it there are our rsi is not showing much it's not even over just kind of teeter tottering around that particular level so yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But around uh, about this particular company, uh, Ecofiber Limited. Um, anyway, so uh, if you like what you see, please share, like, and subscribe. If you um, have any things you want to discuss about this particular company or this cannabis sector at all, leave that in the comment. Um, and uh, check out my other videos on uh, the companies that I do uh, quick take analysis for, and also my. Um, the early bird episode where I look at the news and and kind of like go through and analyze how it will affect the market uh, the, the, that morning. So anyways, thank you so much. Have a great night. Take care. Bye bye.